Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of The Wolf Among Us. Last time, a very story heavy episode, we finally managed to track down the hideout of the Crooked Man. And uh, he was surrounded by his goons, his cohorts, and his lackeys. And he basically tried to play nice with us saying, you know, we're not so different you and I. We both want what's best for Fable Town. And we're like, no, you're enslaving people, you're kidnapping, you're murdering, blah, 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 blah. And sure enough, we pointed out Georgie as the murderer, which we were right. And he said that he would deal with it. So we retali well, retaliate is a strong word. We disagreed with his methods and a fight broke out. Uh, Crooked Man escaped and we followed him and gave chase, um... Well, actually, before that, during the fight, we cut Georgie's stomach open with a knife because he came at us with one. Uh, so we all escaped from the Cooking Man's hideout, gave chase to Georgie and Vivian, the um, the woman that works with him, and followed him back to the Pudding and Pie, where both Georgie and Vivian gave us a sob story of how they were kind of forced to do all this and all that shit. I didn't buy any of it. Vivian ended up offing herself by pulling the ribbon and having herself be decapitated as she was the original woman that, that had the ribbon. Georgie, we put him out of his misery because he was going to die anyway, somehow, even though fables are hard of killing. I would think like a gut wound. Not you would walk away from, but it would heal. Anyway. Uh, and before he died, he told us that we could find... Uh, the Crooked Man at the Steelworks factory. Which is where we are now. Or Metalworks factory. Yeah, there's his car. Let's see if he's in there. Late night. Still warm. He's here, all right. All right. Let's enter. Of course. I wonder if that's possible to actually break open like the lock without breaking the handle or the whole mechanism off, you know what I mean? Examine the package. The package so is this here. is where they've been sending these. <laughs> That's so funny. Instead of the shadows making it darker, it lightens up the image. Like, look at our shadow. Inside the shadow is like, the image is white. But on the outside, it's black. That's so funny. It's just so we could see it, but that's that's cool. Knock, knock. So the whole factory is set to activate once you open the door. Weird. Big B Wolf. That's me. The big bad wolf. <laughs> you used to be something. Huh. A lot of pictures taken with us. So that's me and Snow. Big me and Snow. I don't know who those are. That's probably... That looks like Snow. That's us. That's basically the first episode. That's the first episode. So it's Snow and Helen. Or Holly, sorry. I don't know what you keep calling her. Helen. And I'm guessing that's Lily and Narissa? Oh no, that's Faith. That's Faith and Narissa. They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small, shivering bodies would fit. 
Wonder why it's covered with blood. It's kind of hard controlling him. With this location, yeah, okay. With left, there we go. Oh, great. Just making some silver birds. Yeah. The big bad wall. It's about time you've shown up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you've made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you've finished, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way, now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> Does that usually work for you? You planning to kill me with your eyeballs? <sighs> I assume your mother taught you how to fight proper? Or was she too busy fucking whatever breeze drifted through town? Oh, come yeah, on. I knew. Is that the best you can do? Oh shit, press the wrong button. Press Q instead of A on the first time. I have to move. It's not going to end well. Oh, shit. I didn't see that. Oh, fuck. I missed that one. No, I pressed it that time. Okay, I didn't press it that time. Where are you? Come out and face me. Cool design. Bloody Mary has multiple forms. Um, I'm 
pressing it. That was awesome. Oh, thankfully we took our clothes off before turning into the wolf. Oh. Hi. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six... I won't miss next time. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. What happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. A businessman, for. really? And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. Okay.
am, am, am I missing something here? Everyone we've talked to, you know, whether it's like the the working girls, Beauty, Beast, Johan, they're all telling us to get rid of the Crooked Man. Why would we have such a hard time explaining to Snow and the rest of the community why we didn't bring him back alive, no less? They're the ones telling me, they're the ones telling me to fucking kill him. Am I missing something here? You're often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth, or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about justice. I'm the sheriff. I have to do what's right. Two people were murdered. And you know who did it. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in, but you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Fine, let him hold on to it. Fine. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. You'll be given a trial in front of your peers. <clears throat> and your punishment will follow. I want to hit him so bad. I wanted to kill him so bad, but... I know, again. I know, but we have to do something. Are you fucking kidding me? When is this thing happening? Are we sure he's coming? Yes, you'll have an opportunity to... He's back. <gasps> the Crooked Man. Thank God. <laughs> Motherfucker. Are you okay? It's been hours. Okay, I'm very sorry to cut it short, uh, but I'm actually going to end here, because if I don't, I feel like I'm going to attack on like an extra half hour. Uh, this whole thing could be like its own video, you know what I mean? It, it, it could take a really long time, and I don't want to make these videos longer than they need to be. So, uh, yeah, we're pretty much at the end game. I think there's just basically one more video to go. Uh, everyone's, well... I want to say everyone's taken care of. Georgie's taken care of. Bloody Mary's taken care of. Not sure what's going to happen with the Jersey Devil, with the Tweedle twins. But the Crooked Man will certainly get his trial in the next one. Hope you guys are looking forward to it. Thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.